I've had many exciting running experiences in the past year. Some of those I've already shown in this channel, but not all. So let me look back at 2017, while showing you some footage of my last long training run before the Berlin Marathon. Running from Berlin Köpenick back home to Moabit. I started the 2017 competitive season by going fast, flat, but not very far with personal bests on the 10k and the half marathon. I ran those races without camera, to avoid the necessary weights, but also because road races don't provide as nice footage as trails usually do. The first trail race of the season was also a success. Unfortunately, I just missed the 5 hour mark on the 49 km hard scale, but I ran a good race, and I did not leave much on the table. And more importantly, I thoroughly enjoyed the gently rolling trails. Then there was the Sachsen Trail, where I took a tactical risk that backfired spectacularly. But I considered it as a training run mostly, so I wasn't too disappointed about it. Four weeks later, at the Swiss Alpine, which I considered the main event of my year, something backfired even harder and I still can't pinpoint exactly what it was. Altitude obviously was a factor, but in itself not an explanation. A lengthy medical checkup couldn't find an explanation either, but I did get the all clear, allowing me to run the Berlin Marathon in September without worrying about dropping dead. After two failed attempts to beat my personal best on the marathon distance the year before, I was very motivated to finally beat that previous time of 3 hours and 26 minutes. The weather on race day was grey and rainy, but the temperature was perfect for me. So unlike the African elites at the front, I considered the conditions to be quite good. I got into the rhythm immediately nailing my intended pace almost to the second without even paying attention to my watch. 10 kilometers in, that intended pace started to feel quite slow. And following feeling rather than strategy, I started accelerating. Around half distance, I caught sight of the pacemakers for 3 hours and 15 minutes. Since they had started well ahead of me, Following them at a distance would be more than enough to achieve a net time below 3.15. At 3 quarter distance, I still had the pacemakers in sight, but I started to fall back a bit. I figured that if I could catch them, I would be able to keep up with them. So I put in an effort and accelerated again, around the 30 km mark. Not something I would recommend to a first-time marathoner, but I figured it was worth the risk. A few kilometers later, I still hadn't caught up and my legs were starting to complain. So the only sensible thing to do was to back off. Time for some risk management. I was well on track for a personal best, but I couldn't afford to break down completely. But even with a few kilometers at a slower pace, the 3 r 15 still seemed feasible, so after giving my legs a bit of a breather, I pushed them to the limit again in the last few kilometers. That race, the Berlin Marathon, was the last race of my year. A year of ups and downs. And how I would end the season would probably determine how I would look back on 2017. At least as far as running is concerned. Shortly before the end of that training run you're seeing, I passed the Brandenburg Gates. A few weeks later, in the last kilometer of the marathon, I would run through there from the opposite side, making a victory gesture. Then I would look at my watch and see that my time was going to be a few dozen seconds over 3 hours and 15 minutes. And then I would continue my celebration because my goal actually had been 3 hours and 20 minutes. 2017? 
Gauthier.